Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. Um, so this word comes from a vision and um, this is somewhat repetitive, okay? Um, he's uh, a, He wanted me to go back and use this verse. Basically, that's what it comes down to. I'm like, Lord, I just released a word and this is the scripture you gave me for it. And I gave me a vision with the same scripture. So he wanted me to just do it like that. I'm like, okay, I don't know. Maybe somebody needs confirmation. Um, I don't know, right? It's not up to me to figure it out, but this is what he wants. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so this vision is super simple. Um, uh, it was a man. And he went like this. He had a measuring tape, right? And I heard Holy Spirit say, measure man. And I was like, okay. And right away, I knew the scripture because I had just used it recently. Um, and so this is a scripture. I'm going to read the scripture. And then a few days later, I think on Monday, he gave me um, more scripture to it. And I'm like, wow. Okay. So the scripture is Zechariah uh, 2, 1 through 5. Then I looked up. And there before me was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked, where are you going? He answered me to measure Jerusalem, to find out how wide and how long it is. While the angel who was speaking to me was leaving, another angel came to me came to meet him sorry another angel came to meet him and said to him run tell that young man Jerusalem will be a city without walls because of the great number of people and animals in it and I myself will be a wall of fire around it declares the Lord and I will be its glory within this is one of my favorite scriptures because um, I'm like obsessed with God's protection right um, and so here it's like God gives this illustration of him surrounding his people as a wall of fire like wow you know and so um in this scripture there was a man and an angel and um It's kind of confusing a little bit because first they call the angel a man and then they call him an angel, right? So it was this man with a measuring line, with a measuring tape on it, on his way to measure Jerusalem, right? Um, and he was on his way, he, he was left. Um, but then another angel came to meet him that angel and said uh go and tell that young man that um jerusalem is not gonna have walls because it's gonna be so big but i myself am going to protect it i myself am going to surround it okay so um Yes, I'll get into a little bit more right now. Um, the other scripture he gave me for this on Monday. Oh, the vision. I didn't give you the date. Sorry. 
This was on 2 2 24. February 2nd, uh, 2024. Uh, this is Psalm 48, verses 12 through 14. And this is the message translation. And it says, Circle Zion, take her measure, count her fortress peaks. Gaze long at her sloping bulwark. Climb her cit citadel heights. Then you can tell the next generation, detail by detail, the story of God, our God forever, who guides us till the end of time. So here it's like God is giving the instruction. Um, the imagery he gave me for this is so beautiful. Um, how do I? Help me, Lord. Help me, Holy Spirit. I'm trying to get around it. <laughs> But I can't. I can't. This is Kingdom's Faust. Okay. It is what it is. Okay. Um, like I said, he had given me the scripture for something else. Um, but then he gave me this vision and was like, okay. So I'm like, okay. And this time I'm trying to get around that whole Kingdom's Faust thing and I can't. It is what it is. So, here God is saying, the men are on their way. <laughs> I know, I was like avoiding. Um, the men are on their way, okay. Um, God had given them the instruction. They were guided by the Holy Spirit to... Um, scope you out <laughs> to scope you out literally like to measure you to get to know you keeping an eye on you and uh, not in a creepy way right but um just to get to know you right um to study you um <clears throat> and um it, it the way the imagery that God gave me for this is so beautiful um yeah yeah um more so with the psalm 48 12 through 14 because it says circles Zion take her measure count her fortress peaks gaze long at her sloping bulwark climb her citadel heights it's kind of like um the city is representative of the woman right and so the imagery that god gave me is like when you go on vacation or you go to a place a city um that you've never been to before and you're a tourist, right? You want to do all the touristy things and go to all the major sites and eat at all the, the recommended restaurants and just do all the things, like get to know the city, you know, um, and gaze long at it and admire it and just get to know it all right and you don't want to miss anything and if anything you want to find something new something undiscovered a new little area or what uh maybe was just recently added or things like that and so these men when they come to you they've already um like uh i said they've already kept an eye on you but 
it's like they're going to just want to know everything about you like it's it's like they're gonna be so intrigued by you and so drawn in especially because it's from god right um but they're just gonna care to know everything absolutely everything um so the reason that god wants to let his daughters know this um is because maybe you've been single uh for quite some time and um you're used to that and yes you you know the idea of being in a relationship and honoring god and serving god together in a, as a couple you know as a team um but then also know that you're used to being independent just you right um, and so just start preparing your mind for someone to just always want to be there, you know, and um, not just to be there, but to be active in your life, to be present, um, to help you because um, anybody who is uh, really connected to God is a servant. So they're gonna come ready to serve you. And ladies, likewise, you know, God has prepared us, you know, in our hearts to have that servant's heart. And so it's gonna be this like, you know, they're just gonna be enamored. You know what I mean? And um, they're gonna treat you like that. And so they're going to want to get to know you. And and maybe you've never been treated like this before. And you're going to be like, is, is this for real? Like, is this guy really real? Like, is you know? Um, and God is basically saying, yeah. <laughs> I sent him your way like that. Um, and so I think it's just really sweet. This message is actually really sweet. Um, and so, yeah. G guys... And I know God has said this before, uh, but this is another batch that God is sending out. Um, and the way he's doing it is like, it's like, wow, like there's intention. They come prepared to, to learn, uh, to grow with you and, um, in, in every area they're ready to include you you know and likewise you have to be ready to include them too right um know that it's gonna be a transition it's gonna be an adjustment right um but it's going to be an easy thing because god is gonna make it easy okay um but yeah yeah, it's like you're going to be a vacation spot for them. And they're going to want to, they're a tourist. Never been there. I mean, and likewise, that's what your your spouse is going to be to the ladies too, right? It's like this new land <laughs> and you're a tourist in it and you, you just want to know everything. You want to get to know it and explore it you know and um it's just very beautiful the way god put that in my mind to to see it that way um and when you're on vacation you never want to leave <laughs> right um this is and and this vacation doesn't have to end it can be lifelong and that's what heaven on earth is it's like a vacation spot that you never want to leave it's paradise so wow yeah yeah you guys just explore your paradise um this new land and um the men are on their way um because it's the first set of scripture 
it was the the angel and the man and um then the angel of the lord showed up and said i'm gonna be a wall of fire around her um yeah so just know again god always brings this up when he talks about kingdom spouses and coming together um these unions are protected big time okay they are covered they're protected here he's describing a wall of fire around you guys so i mean you're good you god wants you to enjoy this time and not to be on guard so that's why he comes and reassures and he wanted me to use the scripture again in a whole different way he used it um but yeah so that's pretty much it uh for this one so i hope this blessed you guys um this scripture will be in the description box and if you're led to so you may do so that will be there too god bless you bye